Joe Rogan explains women want a provider. Taylor Swift is not going to marry a bartender. Rogan attacked Instagram as an infidelity accelerating machine in marriages. Podcast host Joe Rogan explained in sexist terms about how women want a provider in their relationships while speaking with UFC fighter Sean O'Malley on Friday. A topic during their discussion included the impact of social media on modern relationships. Both O'Malley and Rogan criticized how platforms like Instagram can devalue the dating experience while Rogan added how much harder a woman can have to find a stable partner. To be sexist and to talk in sexist terms, women, they go to a man as a provider. She's going to want a guy who can keep it together, right? You're gonna want a guy you're gonna have children. You're gonna want a guy who's going to keep it together, financially stable, be disciplined, do all the things that he's going to do, not fall apart, not become a drug addict, not do something f asterisk king stupid like lose his job and not give up because of that and then everybody gets on welfare. You have to count on someone unless you want to work yourself. There's like this evolutionary aspect, Rogan said. He added that by contrast, men do not care about whether a woman can provide for him. No one cares. Are you nice? Are you cool? Are you fun to be with? Do I enjoy spending time with you? Then, who cares? But a woman like Taylor Swift is not going to marry a bartender. BTCH, get the F asterisk out of here. I sell out stadiums, what do you do? You make drinks. Rogan joked. Earlier in the conversation, Rogan also referenced a clip he saw that described Instagram as an infidelity accelerating machine, a description he agreed with based on the pages of some wives, sticking their T asterisk S out and sticking their BT out. You know they're getting bombed on the DMs constantly, and if something goes wrong in the marriage, they have so many options. Pro athletes are DMing them, who knows? Rogan commented. He added, how much are you going to be invested in trying to figure somebody out if you got like a 100 people that you swiped on that are also ready to go? And you can just leave, like, this date sucks. In a recent interview with Fox News Digital, University of Virginia professor and sociologist Brad Wilcox called on men to become more intentional about their relationships to be a good prospect for women. One of the things that I encounter here at the University of Virginia, is that a lot of young women feel like they don't have good prospects for dating, that there aren't guys out there who are worthy of marriage, or worthy of investing in a serious relationship. And so I think encouraging men to take high school, take college, take their early jobs more seriously, and to become more intentional about their relationships as well, would be part of the answer here, Wilcox said.